Hello to everyone, this is Mind Mastery, and today we want to take you on a journey of manifestation, mindfulness, and a better future. This video is for you if you're prepared to discover the mysteries of your mind and body and finally make good changes in your life. To ensure you don't miss any of our groundbreaking content, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell before we start. Now let's begin. You decide what to do with any kind of information that comes into your life. You get to decide what you're willing to do and what you're not. No one else can change your mind or make you do something you don't want to. People think they can't help themselves because of the shame, but help is always there. You are never weak because you have the power of your brain. Your brain has the power to change events, bend rivers, and make your life into whatever you want it to be. The power of your thoughts is what makes a moment, and then they become the cause of a belief in your subconscious mind. How you carry yourself and how you feel about life have a big impact on what you get out of life. You might feel like you have no value or that your life has no point. Over time, people start to think that their lives don't make a difference in the world, but that's not true. You have the power to make a difference in this world from the moment you are born. You don't have to assist with something big. You can always start with something small. You only have to use the power of your mind to help make the world a better place. You don't have to join a big political party or feed the poor and the hungry. There's no need to do anything big. Even if you just look at other people with kindness and care, that might be enough for that day to add to the peace and harmony of society. How you choose to treat other people will affect how well the whole group gets along. The more you work for peace and unity, the more people you will meet who think the same way you do. Finding more people who share your views will help you reach your goal of making the world a better place. Robert Schuller, who works for the UN, is quoted as saying, As a species, we deserve peace, and we have to mentally accept it. Many people think that war is unavoidable, and by thinking that, they are helping to make it happen. The bigger picture is made up of what we think and believe, not just about ourselves, but also about the world. You are not just a small part in the background or another person. As long as you are living, you are part of the big picture. If you think something is possible, then one day it will definitely happen. Peace starts inside each of us, and then it has to be shared with the people around us. You get to be in harmony with your friends and family. You start to be in harmony with the people you meet every day and so on. This will have a ripple effect from one person to the next, building a peaceful community in one place and spreading it to the whole world. We're not just here in one place, we're spiritually connected to everyone all over the world. Spirituality is the soul that links us to the source of power that will never end and keeps us together. We are all people and our only goal on earth is to spread love. We as people deserve to be loved, to be happy, to be cared for, and to live in peace with each other. You don't need a middleman in your relationship with God. All you need is a link in harmony with your inner self and the eternal source of power. The more you meditate and connect with your inner self, the more it will come back to you. You'll spread happiness, and happiness will come back to you. You can start meditating by closing your eyes once a day and looking deep into yourself. You need to stop thinking about everything and just be in the moment with yourself. Every time you do that, you'll meet people who are also doing it for themselves. We are spiritually connecting with people who think like you do. When you picture yourself fixing your body or bringing peace to the world, you are spiritually connecting with other people who have the same goals. At first, your ideas may be annoying because they may be all over the place. Your thoughts may be making a ruckus inside of you, but you should calm down. It will get better with time. Let go of all the bad feelings you have about anyone, any group, any race, any caste, or any religion. Don't let these bad feelings take hold of you. Don't let these bad feelings get in the way of how you think. To make peace on the outside, you must first be at peace on the inside. Peace on the outside will come from peace on the inside. If you want to fix the world, you must first fix what's wrong with you. Everyone has the power to do that. It's like a chain effect that starts and keeps getting bigger and bigger. You will touch people's lives and even change them without even realizing it. You will be sending out vibrations that can draw more people to you. Peace and unity inside reach out and touch the lives of other people. It's not hard to figure out, don't you see? When a certain person comes into a room and you feel very attracted to them and impressed by the way they make you feel, or when you look at someone and you just don't like them, you don't have to use words to talk to each other. You can just feel their vibrations. We definitely give off the energy we feel on the inside. 
Make sure you work on self-realization so that you can bring peace and unity to this world. You have to change yourself before you can change the world. That's how it has to be, a change of will. Self-realization is the way to be honest with ourselves on the inside. Being honest means accepting who we really are. Don't try to hide it from yourself. We tend to think that we are not bad at all and that nothing is our fault, but is that really true? Find the thing you need to change about yourself. It not only sends a bad message to the people around you, but it also hurts you a lot. It's self-destructive to be critical of other people, to judge them for everything they do, and to look down on them. If you are always unhappy with other people, you will always find more reasons to be mad. If you don't value other people's time and waste it for yourself, it will all come back to haunt you. Every new bad thing you do will hurt you in some way. Find it and find it on your own. Healing starts when we are able to see and accept our own mistakes. Every step you take to improve yourself will feed your soul. Every little thing you do to be a better version of yourself will pay off in a big way for your inner self. It may be hard for you, but it is definitely worth it. If you keep thinking that an eye for an eye is how the world works, then that's what you'll keep getting in your life. The world around you will look like what you believe it will look like. You see the way you want the world to be. You are where life comes from. You are a part of God. Your feelings are the way you express life and they can change everything around you. So keep taking a look inside once in a while. The better it will be, the more you can do it. Take charge of your own life. Don't just let things happen on their own. Don't let the things that happen to you run your life. Trust yourself and be honest with yourself. Look at yourself with the goal of making a change that will help you grow from the inside out. Don't close yourself off to new ideas by thinking you already know everything. If you think you know everything, you'll never be able to learn anything new. Take chances every day and make the most of your life. Try new things and explore a new path every day to help your mind grow. People always blame someone else, so you should only work on yourself. We never blame ourselves, instead we try to keep ourselves safe by telling ourselves lies. We think we're not addicted to anything and that addiction is only caused by chemicals like drugs, but we're surrounded by a lot of people who are hooked. Some people are addicted to using social media too much. Others are addicted to food as a way to calm down from all the noise around them. Still others are addicted to finding fault in others. You always see the world in a bad way because you think that everything they do is wrong. No matter what they do, you always ignore the good things about them and only think about the bad. It's the drug that hurts you and makes you feel bad about yourself. If you really want to get hooked on something, why not switch from a bad habit to a good one? Make changes and love yourself. Get hooked on liking yourself and on healing yourself. Find new ways to calm yourself down and get hooked on that. Change doesn't have to happen all at once. It can happen slowly over time. You have a great mind that has the power to change the world, so use it. All you need is the power of your mind to change the world and bring back peace and unity. Once you bring peace back to yourself, it will keep spreading to the people around you. Your inner peace will show in the outside world and that peace can then spread to the people around you. Never believe anything else. You are important. You are life. As we wrap up this enlightening journey, let's remember the core message that the power to change the world starts within you. Your thoughts, beliefs, and actions have a ripple effect, shaping not just your life, but also impacting society at large. You don't need grand gestures to make a difference. Even small acts of kindness contribute to a harmonious world. The key is inner peace and self-realization. Once you find that tranquility within, it naturally extends outward, influencing those around you. So don't underestimate your potential. You are a vital part of the bigger picture. Harness the power of your mind, cultivate inner peace, and watch as it transforms not just you, but the world around you. Thank you for joining us on this transformative journey.